Hi everyone, it's Alex from TutorialEdge.net and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how you can use makefiles within your everyday Go development. Now in this tutorial we're going to be covering the following. So we're going to cover a really simple makefile example. We're then going to look at how you can use makefiles to cross compile different binaries for different architectures. And finally we're going to look at how you can run multiple targets in one command so that you can simplify your makefile based workflow. So let's kick off this tutorial by looking at what makefiles are. Now, makefiles are typically used to help simplify compiling your application's source code. They can also be used to run a series of different targets, which are comprised of a set of steps, which will then be executed whenever this specific target is run. And you can define multiple targets within a makefile, which can perform different actions, such as building binaries, testing your systems, or possibly even setting up your environment. There's multiple use cases for these things. And a good example of this would be, say, the, the Kubernetes uh, repository on GitHub. Okay, so now that we've covered some of the absolute basic concepts, let's see these concepts in action with a really simple makefile example just to whet our appetite. Now I'm gonna dive into Visual Studio Code here, and I'm gonna start off by creating a new file called makefile. Now within my makefile, I'm going to want to define a couple of targets. Now the first target I'm going to be creating is the hello target. Now within this target, I'm going to simply echo out the string hello back to me. Now opening up the terminal, I'm going to then try and execute this target by running make and hello, which matches up exactly with the target up here. Run that. And we should see that the body of our target, this echo hello command has been executed. And we should see hello printed out within our terminal. Awesome. So we have a simple makefile in our project directory that performs the highly complex task of printing out hello to our terminal. Now let's take this a step further and add a simple Go application into the mix so that we can try our hand at defining new targets which will build and run this new Go app for us. So I've kind of cheated and already created a really simple seven line Go application right here. And we can try running that by calling go run main.go within the terminal. And as you can see, it just prints out hello world. Now that we've got this, we're going to once again open up our makefile and we're going to define a couple of new targets. Now the first one is going to be the build target, which is going to go ahead and build the boundary for our application. And I'm going to Output this to a bin slash main directory, and I'm going to pass in main.go. Now the next target I'm going to do is run. And this is going to go and run our main.go file like so. Coming back into the terminal, we can then test out these new targets by calling make build. And as you can see, that's created a new binary folder. And within that binary folder, we now have our main executable file. And finally, let's test out our run target. And as you can see, goes ahead and performs the incredibly complex task of running our Go application. So at this point in the tutorial, you might be thinking, what is the big deal? Why are we using makefiles to run these really simple commands? Well, imagine you had more complex commands to run, such as cross compiling your application to run on every operating system and every architecture available. You could, within your makefile, define a new compile target, like so. And within this, you could specify all of the different combinations for the build command and run that within a simple command. So make compile, that would go ahead and automatically run through each of these three different build commands and output the binaries in their respective bin directory, like so. Now, this is just one really simple example. But imagine you had an even more complex system and you had even more complex targets. Now, within your makefile, you could create makefile commands or targets which will automatically compile all of the other commands for you in series. So I could say I want to run the compile target followed by the hello target. And then if I wanted to run all two of these commands, I just do make all. And as you can see, it would run all of the steps within this target, followed by our original hello target. 
Awesome. So that's all we're going to cover in this really short and simple Makefile tutorial. Now, hopefully it's given you some idea as to how you can use Makefiles for your own benefit within your own Go applications, as well as your other programming applications such as C++, Python, Node, you name it. Now, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more programming content. Cheers.